believe in the heliocentric model, you're a glober, then I'm gonna need you to stick around. We have the sun over here and the earth over here. Something you need to know, the sun moving through the universe travels at such a speed that we travel from the sun to the earth, that distance, every seven days. Have you ever experienced loss of consciousness, hallucinations, dizzy spells, convulsive disorders, fainting, or periods of loss of memory? Well, that's in everyone. <laughs> but no. Mental illness or narcotic addiction? Now that's a tough choice. <laughs> So we travel the distance to the sun 52 times a year. What the fuck does that even mean? Uncle Tamir, this thing is an idiot. While exploding out of the universe, while our North Stars are on a 25,000 year rotation, while we're spinning at a thousand miles an hour. Does anybody see the issue with this model? How do I break this to you? You're a moron! Oh, Rima, go easy on him. Let me handle this. Catman, you're a moron! So, I know everybody loves pictures, so I got some. Now on this side, we are starting with the launch site at the North Pole. And our target is the equator. But, because of the Coriolis effect that you guys all tell me exists... <laughs> okay, moving on. we are not going to hit the target. The target will either be 15 degrees off because of the speed of the Earth, or we're not spinning. Oh wait, I think he's moving. <laughs> if we are spinning at a thousand miles an hour, and we have already agreed that the Coriolis effect is objects going up, the Earth is spinning, and the objects moving independently of the Earth. How do these land, take off, and fly against the spin of the Earth? Have you spoken to the experts about this? Have you consulted Professor Bobai? Who? Professor Bobai, the one with the incredibly strong forearms that are missized for his okay. body. The man you are discussing is called Bobai. Bobai. He is not a professor. Bobai is, as the song tells us, a sailor man. So I'll say it one more time. If we are spinning at a thousand miles an hour, and this guy goes like 570, if we're spinning this way, and he's flying that way, he's gonna go real fast. They're trying to sneak by a two cent beer tax. Two cents. And what really gets to me is that the money they're gonna raise is gonna go for education. <laughs> well, I'll be damned if I'm paying two cents for some moron to learn how to read. But if we're spinning this way, and he's going this way, but we're moving at 500, and the earth is going at 1,000, he's going to be moving backwards, correct? Like, that's, that's how that would work with the Coriolis effect. I am now 100% sure that you are watching cartoons. Indulge me, for one second, pretend that I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm there. Now, I know me, common sense, math, basic stuff. <laughs> so, is the Coriolis fake and made up? Or are we not moving? Someone give me the answer. But the fact of the matter is, you're a little bit... You're kind of a... You're an ass. 